Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel where we are living and not existing. I do want to stress the fact that I am not one for notes. I'm not one for seasonal perfumes, even though I have perfumes that I may tend to wear more in certain seasons, but I go off or I base my perfumes, what I wear based upon my how I'm feeling and what I have on. So if you're looking for somebody who no, we can tell you this, that, and the other about it, girl. That's not me. I can just tell you what I like and how it smells to me, how I feel when I wear it. So, if you want to know more about my top 10 luxury perfumes that I get the most compliments on, just keep on watching, honey. This is YSL Black Opium. As you can see, it is almost gone. There's still some in there, but it's almost gone. This is the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. I got this perfume in 2018, honey, ain't no shame in my game. Back then, when I first got married, I was really into big, uh, I was really heavily into sweet perfumes. And this is a very, very, very sweet perfume, but it's not child. I don't gravitate towards sweet scents anymore. Like, I think this is the only sweet, sweet, sweet scent that I'm going to talk about today. Like, I just, I like sweet perfumes, but not heavy sweet like this. This has to be a fan favorite, but it's not my favorite. Let me tell y'all about this. This is YSL Libre Livre. Girl, I don't know how to pronounce it. Everybody say it differently, but I'm going to say Libre. This is YSL Libre Intense. Now, let me tell y'all. I had this, and I bought this when it first came out, and I got the original, just the regular YSL Libre, and I hated it. But my husband loved it. He loved it. He kept talking about it. He was going crazy over it. It was doing something for us. So I was like, okay, I need to get it. Went back. I did. I just did not like it. So I got the Eau de Toilette. I love the Eau de Toilette. It does not sound like sound like it does not smell like the original, and it doesn't smell like this. But it it, it smells good. This is the intense version of YSL Libre. I get compliments galore every single time I wear this. Like I said, it's really not just my favorite, but I get compliments galore, even from children. My little niece, I wore this to church um, a while ago, and my uh, niece was coming out of youth service and she was holding my hand. She said, oh my God, Amika, you smell so good. What is that? What do you have on? This bottle is so pretty. This bottle is so pretty. But you are, if you get this or if you have this, honey, you are going to get compliments. Every single time you wear it, a little bit goes a long this way. This is Tiffany & Co. Intense. I love this. This, I, I think I like anything with patchouli in it. That's, that's, I'm gonna say this, because a lot of the perfumes that I have, patchouli is in it. This is a grown and sexy, sophisticated lady type of scent. Y'all, people don't talk about this a lot, but this is a lady in a bottle. Like, this smells like a sophisticated woman. Like a woman who is just about her business. She doesn't do too much. Girl, I love my uh burberry touch but this as an everyday scent or as a signature scent this is like this it does it's not too it is intense but it's not too heavy like this i would not recommend this as a signature scent or everyday because girl this you are not supposed to have this but this i don't know this just smells a little fresh but a little sweet it is sophisticated it, it's a lady in a bottle like that's really all I can say about it is a late it's a lady in the bottle. This is the 1.7 fluid ounce bottle. The bottle is just absolutely gorgeous. Lady, like it's just pretty. I love this perfume. This is Gucci Guilty Absolute. To me, this smells like Granny when she was 35, 32, 30. Like it does smell mature. But it's not old lady, if that makes sense. It's a tad bit sweet, but it's more mature. It's not even like spicy or clean. I get more mature than anything. It smells like, it reminds me, I feel like this is something that my granny would have worn at, at 32. This is replicas or Mason Margiela's replicas 
coffee break but this is an order to let and girl this lasts all day and all night coffee break is sweet girl i'm gonna put this on because i have been wearing this every day since i got it i got it last week did i get this last week or the week before i don't know this smells like cologne and sweet perfume mixed together that's the only way i can describe it it smells like a nice it smells like one of my husband's colognes and one of my sweet perfumes mixed together and it is just a beautiful scent a beautiful beautiful fragrance and it's perfect for everyday wear i don't know about it as far as like a signature scent because it's not a wow i feel like a signature scent should be a wow scent even if it's not hitting you in the face it should just bring memories to that person if you smell a scent i don't know oh my goodness it's just a beautiful scent so these three perfumes these next three perfumes that i'm about to talk about are very 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 strong unique and heavy hitters if you do not like unique scents you need to try these like i'm not gonna say don't don't even listen to me listen to me get you a nice unique scent tom ford perfumes the first one is my absolute favorite one out of the three i get compliments all the time i always mix this with something like a little bit something a little sweet kind of like uh i'll mix, i'll put flower bone with this or i'll put um what's that one? uh c giorgio armani c with this the original girl this honey is spicy girl i don't know it's dark like i would wear this with this because it is just all of that it is it is dark it is vibrant it is spicy it is seductive it is sexy it is like girl we go on a day and when we get home like this is just i don't know i don't know and it's unique. I have not smelled anything that smells like this. Like, out of all the 10 that I'm talking about today, this is my absolute favorite one. I think this is the 1.7 fluid ounce bottom, and I just absolutely love it. I have to talk about these two together because there's so much, I don't know, controversy with, with, with the whole line of the um, Orchid perfumes. This is Tom Ford. Okay, I was good because this. Tom for uh, Black Orchid Parfum, which is stronger than the other parfum. And then this is Tom for Velvet Orchid. Look at how pretty these bottles are. Like, girl, like, I, even if I didn't like these, I probably would buy these. I don't know, because, girl, these $200. Anywho, but um, this is Velvet Orchid, and this is Black Orchid Parfum. People talk about these like they are just super duper strong and long lasting baby they are super duper strong and long lasting the only perfume out of all of these that i'm gonna talk about that i feel like may not be as long lasting is this but you know it i don't know it's just you can smell it but it, it does not linger that's what i'm gonna say everything that i'm talking about today lingers when you walk there's a trail this is the only one that there's no trail you have to give someone a hug or stand beside, beside someone you know something like that in order for someone to just smell it but it's a nice signature scent everyday scent i don't know it's just a nice beautiful scent anyway back to the time for it girl y'all know i'll be all over the place anywho so this okay so i got the sample two months ago right so i was like let me try this out i sprayed it on my um inside of my wrist i just sprayed it let it dry down and then pat it together i sprayed it on the front of my neck the back of my neck and that was it. 30 minutes after that i went to ross i went on this aisle and walked past um this lady and i went on another aisle the woman called me back and she said ma'am excuse me i said yes <laughs> girl i already know what you want and i said um i was like yes and she's like what do you have on you smell so good it smells like something vanilla like just she said that it reminded her of vanilla current from black bath and body works i've never smelled it before uh i don't know how that smells like if you smelled it before let me know what that smells like or do you think they smell the same let me know in the comments because i don't know i've never smelled it before anyways 
So I told her, she's like, ma'am, you're smelling so good. You are lingering. She's like, you walk by me, you walk on that aisle, I can still smell you. And I only sprayed it here on the back of my neck and right here. I didn't even put it on my clothes, y'all. To me, and I'm probably wrong, but to me, it's a tad bit fruity, like a tad bit, like a drop, like a little drop of fruit. To me, it smells like that, but it's it's sweet. It's I get more vanilla, but a different type of vanilla, not like your generic vanilla. It's unique. It is a very unique scent. It does not smell like this. This is sweet. This is more sweet than the black bottle, the original, but this is more spicy, which is what I like. They're so unique. It's not for everybody, and they do not smell the same. They smell completely different. They smell completely different, and I love that. You got nothing to for it, and you like sweet stuff, go ahead and get the velvet, and if you like a more grown, sophisticated, sexy, sassy scent, this is more sassy, go ahead and get black orchid. I'm telling y'all, I'm not misleading y'all. This is Coco Chanel Noir. Oh, I just love it so much. Everybody's not gonna like this. This is not a this is not like a blind buy worthy type scent, but it's a very mature, sophisticant um lady type scent. Every time I wear this, I get a compliment, but sometimes I get backhanded compliments <laughs> when I wear this. One time I wore this to church. And my sister was like, wow, don't you smell like a whole bottle of Mildred? Mildred is my granny. My granny signature scent is Elizabeth Taylor's White Diamond in the red bottle. Only the red bottle, honey. She don't do the other one. She only do the red bottle. And my sister told me that. So it was a compliment, but it was backhanded. You know, a backhanded compliment is uh, basically an insult. And one time I wore this, I went shopping and I wore this. Cause I don't know, I feel like a lady when I wear this, I love this. Um, and this girl was like, wow, you smell so good, you smell like my mom. Ugh! And I was like, and I stopped wearing it after a while, when I started getting those backhanded compliments, I'm like, what, does it smell like an old lady? But to me it doesn't, so I wear it, cause I love it, girl. But this is not for everybody, this is not for everyone, but I absolutely love this perfume. Last but not least, this is Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. And let me go intense, 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 intense. I'm telling y'all. First off, my daddy bought this for me. For a long time, I would not get this because I, all I could think of was my mama, which, I mean, I guess it's a good thing, but I don't like to get everything that my mama has. I want my own stuff, I like my own scent, and I never really did like it until I got older, 32. And I love this scent, but I have intense, and mama has the original version. Now, the story about this is, of course, every time I would smell this, I would think of my mama because this was her signature scent for many, many years. She said when she first started buying this, this cost $50 for the big bottle. This was back in, what, the early 2000s, maybe the late 90s, I don't know. And she's like, girl, that $50 was so hard to come by back in the day. She And you know her story behind it, like how God has elevated her and bless her in her life where she really doesn't even hardly wear this as much but when she does i know i smell it like it's her it'll forever be mama's signature scent it has a story about it uh, behind it as far as which what she used to only be able to have and what she has now and how god has brought her into where she is in life and i don't know i'm always gonna be a coco chanel mademoiselle girl because of my mama and this is intense it does not smell the same this is more sweet than the original um i don't know but it still smells like a mature lady it smells like a sophisticated woman it smells like a woman that you don't have to keep teaching her the things that she needs to do in life she already got it together like that's what this smells like to me and i absolutely love it but i just had to tell y'all about that can y'all believe that this was $50 back in the day, but I love this. It's memory in a bottle, and I love Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle Honey. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I think that I'm going to do some type of perfume video every single month because perfume is something 
um, that I've always loved, I've always had, I've always grown up getting into my mama's stuff, getting into my granny, well, my granny stuff, because my mama not getting in. Ow! If you're getting her stuff, but my granny stuff, because she don't care. Um, as a child and um, teenager and grown lady, like, I love perfumes. I've always gotten into their stuff and my collection has just grown and I'm grateful let me say that I'm grateful for just even having in a, a huge collection of over 30 40 bottles of perfumes because everybody can't do that everybody doesn't have that and that's something I've always wanted to have so I thank God for having that and don't let nobody tell you that your stuff ain't luxury girl and you don't spend a thousand dollars five hundred dollars four hundred dollars on perfume you got look even if you got two or one perfumes to your name and you like it, it lasts long, it does something for you, girl, it's luxury. And we gonna call it, we gonna call it luxury, okay? Please make sure you like this video, comment down below, and let me know if you enjoyed this video or if you have any of these scents or are you gonna try anything that I talked about today? Girl, I really, really wanna know. So please let me know that down below. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. And until next time, bye y'all.